Finished your property, Alicia? No, Reg. Well, don't you think you want to? Yes, Reg. Come on, Emma. I'm trying to do you a favour here. You're only going to have Gina Gold on your back. Yes, Reg. Mate, I've got five minutes if you want. Take that statement about yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Look, actually, Gary, can we leave it till tomorrow? I mean, I've got a whole mountain of stuff to get through today. Well, don't leave it too long, yeah? Yeah. Oh, Danny boy. Get lost. Don't you think you ought to start being nice to me? No one need ever know, you know. Assuming I keep my mouth shut, that is. Everything's for sale, Dan. Even my silence. Stop doing that, please. Makes me nervous. So what did he say, exactly? I'm sorry? You know what I'm talking about, Davy. What did he say? I've already told you. No, not everything. Something's changed in you and I want to know why. I'm going for a walk. Talk about this when I get back. I'm not going anywhere. Then what happens if I don't want to control you, honey, and I'm never going to ask you questions you don't want to answer? Shouldn't push me, honey. It's a bad mistake. I'll be right there. Yes? I've got some information. Go on. When I drove Scott Burnett's sister back home, she gave me this. It's a mum's old address book. And? Well, I've been going through the numbers. Oh, yes? And I've just spoken to an aunt. Turns out she's got an old beach house in Kent. Apparently, Scott used to love going down there. The kind of place that make a perfect hideout. According to her, he took Karen there last year. Give it to the receiver. I thought you were going to leave me. I didn't mean to do that. I hate myself. Why would I want to hurt you? I love you too much. Is this how you used to apologise to Karen? Oh, I get it. This is what he said, isn't it? Davy. That I used to knock her about. Is that what he said? And he got that from... Karen? Yeah. I slapped her. Once. To hear it from her, you think I'd broken every bone in her body. I mean, you think I'm a liar. That woman taught me everything I know. She lied to me from day one, right up until the end. Even when I knew about her and Greg. Even when she knew I knew, she continued denying it. What do you mean, when you knew? You said you weren't sure if Karen and Greg were having an affair. Honey, please. That you'd only just started to suspect the night that she went missing. You said it was in the heat of the moment. Don't stop loving me. I'm not a killer. I'm not like that. Oh, my God. I'm not a killer. I don't believe this. You set out to kill her. No. No. I wanted to confess straight away, but I just I lost my bottle. I knew what a jury would make of it. Well, they'd say, they'd say I planned it, but they wouldn't know how I battled with it, how I struggled with myself. A hundred times, I said, just, just go, just walk away, leave them to it. It just it eats away inside you. How could you? Dave is going to be here at six, and this time tomorrow we'll be halfway to the Pyrenees. No more lies ever again, I promise you. Please forgive me, honey. I'm begging you. I'm too far in now, aren't I? doing in here? I want a brief. That is your right. But, of course, I could fix it for you to be bailed. And then, if you were to volunteer some information, I might find I have all sorts of difficulty finding anyone who actually owned those flowers. And then we'd be forced to forget the whole thing. He's family. He let you take the rap before, though, didn't he? Look, Mama, do or not? She doesn't need to know. Nobody needs to know. 
You don't even need to testify. Just show us where your cousin is storing the stolen goods. That's all we need. The rest is up to us. You're a bright bloke. You've got your whole future ahead of you. Prison's not going to do you a scrap of good. I'm giving you a chance here. Don't throw it away. Just do the right thing. The only confirmed sighting is when they hired the light green Yaris from Concept Cars at 15.30 yesterday. Nothing since then. I've got ten officers working their way through a mountain of information on friends and family, but... Yeah? Message for you from Telephone Investigations. Scott Bennett's mobile started giving out a signal again. Still not signed. It's not even a quarter to yet. You've no idea how much better I feel now, I've told you. Well, we should leave this place as we found it, shouldn't we? Less clues. And what did I do with the key? My jacket. Well, I'll get it. That's right. You put the battery back in. there to discuss. You betrayed me. One minute you're saying you believe me, the next you're double-crossing me. It's not that I've just suddenly stopped loving you. I don't believe this. Nothing's changed. Yeah, that's exactly what she said. I still love you. Nothing's changed. All the time she's sleeping with my best mate. So why did she say that, I wonder? Maybe she meant it. Or maybe it had something to do with a wheel brace I had in my hand at the time. What do you think? I think we need to get back in the car, go back to London and turn ourselves in. Yeah, apart from a small matter of a murder charge waiting for me there, it's a great idea. Have you any idea what you've done? You've killed your wife in cold blood! Were well, you not listening to Let an innocent man take the blame, spun me a string of lies! Yeah, because I love you. Because I didn't want to lose you. Just give me the car keys. No. OK. How about we tell David that you've changed your mind, but that I'm going by myself? It's open! Who are you? David's got a problem with the engine, but he's fixing it. He sent me to pick you up. He's got any stuff. Is there a problem? Go back to Davey and tell him to call the police. He'll understand. Go! Just do it now! What have you done? Oh, no, you're joking me, aren't you? Oh, no, you're all right. It's not your fault. Have you alerted oh. the Kent Constabulary yet? Let's go. Bad news, Gov. TIU have just lost the signal. Whoever turned the phone on has just gone and switched it off again. So, we're looking at this area here. A lot of ground. The contact that Steve had, the relative with the beach house, was it in Kent? Yes, ma'am. The address. Right, well, that's right here. Everybody! The police will be on their way by now. So you can either do this a dignified way and hand yourself in, or make a complete fool of yourself. It wasn't all a lie, you know. I did love you. I still do. Do you hate me? No. Will you do one last thing for me? Scott. I'm going to walk out the door. And I don't want you to come after me. You won't get five miles. Please, just promise me, if I ever meant anything to you... It won't do you any good. Just promise me. I'm begging you. I promise. I oh, know I'm a fool. But I'm not all bad. But I do love you. 